Oh yes, so much shenanigans goes on when the cameras are not on. We can't let you guys in on it. But we are so excited today. You want to tell us what's going on? Yes, we have two celebrity guests joining us for a chat in the form of Caitlin. Yes. Now they are an Afrocentric influenced band of brothers, Kingsley Okorie and Benjamin James. You guys are welcome. I can't tell you about my excitement since it was announced yesterday that you guys are going to be on the show because I am a fan of you guys and I'm not even I'm not even kidding oh, first time I heard your music I thought wow this is real mature stuff mm -hmm. and then I had to go to a little bit of detailing on you guys and then I discovered how young Long. you guys are and that's my first question out to you guys how old are you uh, 23 going to 24 can't believe it uh, yeah. I'm 24 going to 24 my birthday is pretty soon so get ready you're March <laughs> I'm 24 going to 25 uh, March, March yeah March. no no May, 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 May. okay wow wow that's what I'm talking about it's, wow. it's, it's yeah. unbelievable it, it is unbelievable so tell me what tell us what inspired your sound and choice of genre um, I mean our experiences okay. you know I mean we, we definitely felt like there was a void that was there to feel okay you know and yeah that's really just what <laughs> inspired whatever we're doing now okay mm. yeah so growing up did you listen um, did you listen to a lot of this kind of sound definitely oh okay it was your father wasn't it yeah uh, father mother driver uh, <laughs> it was <laughs> everywhere. Security, it was everywhere, man. Um, okay. There was my father listening to Osadebe. Uh -huh. There was my mom, the uh -huh. gospel side, Choma Jesus, Akantawa. Uh -huh. There was, <laughs> there was the, the driver, Oliver the Cook, and Oye Kawino. Okay. There was the um, gate man, uh, Lucky Dube. Nice. And it was, music was everywhere. So us. now we know what that used to be called. It used to be called High Life mm -hmm. back in the day, but yeah. today. Every young person is trying to reinvent it and call yeah. it something else. There's yeah. the Alter genre, mm. which I honestly, and I'm going to give you my personal opinion, I don't believe that you guys belong to. I, be, I believe you guys have a niche. Mm. What would you call it? What is it yeah. exactly? High Life Fusion. Yeah. High Life High Fusion. Life I yeah. told you it was different, didn't yeah. I? Oh, my days. You just I mean, had to let me know. We're, we're, still, we're, we're still in the process of really classifying yeah. yeah. me. Yeah. The, yeah. So uh, we'll invite it to the naming ceremony. <laughs> 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 we'll be there with our baby gifts. <laughs> so now let's talk about, like, for example, Roots, um, that album. Now, how do you go about your preparation process mm. for your songs? Do you just say, okay, yo, bruv, sit, let's start writing a song? Or do you just start coming up with lyrics and another one starts hitting up? Uh, it, it depends. Okay. Um, first of all, that album took two years to make. Two years? Ooh. Yes. Wow. And, you know, it could be, it could be the case where I have a dream and I wake up and I'm like, Kingsley, this is the dream more. And then we make a song of that dream. Bolo Bolo, me, you, I, they yeah. were all from dreams. Yeah. Um, dreams? Yes. Yeah. Osondu was from his dream, me, I was from my dream. Dreams so, have a lot. or it could be us jamming because we play together a lot. We always practice at home. You play the drums? drums. Yes, I play the drums. Play the bass. Bass. Yeah. Ooh, okay. And we have like our house, there's no TV in our house. We just, it's just music 24 7. How do you think that influenced your creativity? <laughs> the lack of of uh, influence from um, current media, current media, I, I use that deliberately. I mean, we still have our phones, the technology yeah. helps, you know, in some way, okay. but okay. it also makes you lazy in some way too as well, so we try to stay off it most of the time, you know, mm. just to, just for that traditional yeah, feel. Feel. feel to it. Uh, may I ask one more question? Yeah, of course. <laughs> the vocalizations you guys use, do they always mean something or do you make them up? Like Enya, for instance, she makes up a lot of stuff mm -hmm. when she sings. Mm -hmm. And I've always listened to you guys and thought, these guys are making this thing up. Like, you know, they're not talking anything. Well, that's not a lie. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not a lie. <laughs> no, <that's> not a <laughs> lie. <laughs> so some of it is made up. Yeah, some of it, yeah. Okay. You know, I mean, music is a universal language. Mm -hmm. So for me, it's more about the intention as opposed to the, the surface of it. It's mm -hmm. the intention that makes it last. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, so like once for, for, for us, you know, we definitely transfer the idea as raw as possible. Mm -hmm. Okay. You know, so like we're not thinking barriers of language or mm -hmm. like of, you know, society or yeah. whatever it is, you know, as it comes, like you just, okay. yeah, let's go. Now, you have the music, you have the, you have the talent, you have the content. Now, how do you translate this to wealth? Um, I mean, by just, you know, making smart decisions and by smart decisions, actually, um, <laughs> you definitely will take risks, you know, so, yeah. I mean, I, we're, we're still in that process of taking a lot of risks, but, um, um, I mean, the higher your, your interest in risk, 
sometimes the world can be bigger, you bigger. know. So like we are still in our baby steps now, but okay. I mean you can ask this question five years. Narf, <laughs> like I like that. Years. By the way, you look like a friend of mine, no, a childhood friend of mine called Azuka. Maybe well, he's the one. He can't be he's 20, he's 25. <laughs> so he, Azuka keeps coming to my yeah. my consciousness. Yeah. Um my last final question would be um regarding how you tailor this old school mature vibe mm -hmm. yeah. to what the new school visualization mm. is is expecting mm. and i'm saying this because i'm looking at that transition from your sound to what people would see in the music videos we had something play from earlier and that yeah. was beautiful by the way black and white the rainfall yeah. and, yeah. and, yeah. and it rained this morning yes. Yes. Uh -huh. we even we're talked, talked about, about that <laughs> so um how do you tend to translate that i mean that's what we're showing right now very beautiful beautiful artwork is that that is just fantastic. The yeah. use of chrome and black and white and everything. It's, yeah, it's just the cool. translation is art. Yeah. It's artsy. It's beautiful. Yes, I'm right. happy you guys. <laughs> I am. You guys have to give him an autograph. <laughs> so, uh, how are you going to translate that into the videos we're expecting from the cavemen? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. To make it uh, contemporary. Yeah, I mean, um, it, it's still in works, you know, but definitely by looking out for the right team, people who are in the, in the you know, almost the same mental state because it can't come out, mm -hmm. you know, exactly the same yeah. way we envision it. So we, we try to stay that way and we try to also balance it with what people also want and what people are, have also heard from the mm -hmm. song. So we're very careful about our videos because when people listen to our songs, they yeah. already have like this, uh, like, you know, they already, <laughs> they already <laughs> have visuals. Yeah, yeah. yeah so like, like listen yeah, yeah. and see, a look-see uh, in on one of your videos mm -hmm. once again, because I think um, the viewers need to see this and understand and appreciate yeah. this. Yeah.